What's going on, y'all? Cici Larry Hernandez here. In this podcast episode, we had the pleasure of having Leanne Salinas. Leanne Salinas is the cosmetic consultant for South Texas Dermatology, uh, where she has 15 years of medical office experience. And this podcast episode was pretty cool because it, this is what she talks about, how to prevent skin cancer, the dangers of skin cancer, aging and aesthetic services and cosmetic services that they provide at the South Texas Dermatology and some bomb facts about skin cancer and facts and statistics that we rarely ever think about. So this is pretty cool episode. Stay tuned for this episode. Right, y'all, this is the portion of the podcast where we insert a sponsor or somebody that pays to sponsor this podcast by placing their ad in this portion of the episode. You can shout out your business. You can shout out a, uh, an event that's coming up you can shout out a birthday or any any type of public announcement that you want to put on this podcast since we do have a lot of local listeners it's basically a local podcast dedicated to the city we love supporting local businesses and this is a great way to get your name out there if you're a local business or if you're a local uh, event or you know anything for for the our listeners to listen to you have this attention on you from the listeners that listen to us there's certain portions of the episode like the beginning the end and the middle you get to choose that that. of course the the rate uh dictates that so right now the sponsor is corpus christi originals.com excellent excellent gear that you can represent the city with we got shirts hats stickers bandanas and things to represent the city with so if you want this portion of the episode to sponsor your event your business or anything of that nature uh hit us up let us know and we'd love to have you as a sponsor on the show appreciate y'all bye all right we're going welcome to the show Lian. hi uh, so we, so we got introduced by, you bought some merch from us. It was pretty cool. I did. Yeah, I did. I ordered some t-shirts, custom t-shirts. They were awesome. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I hope that helped out for y'all's, uh, y'all's benefit. That was awesome. It, it did. It did. Yeah. Okay. So Leanne, you're from, are you originally from Sinton or Corpus? I'm originally from Sinton area and, uh, mm-hmm. I've lived in Corpus now for the last five years, but South Texas born and raised. Nice. Yeah. So, so we're, you're used to the beach, you're used to the sun and all that stuff. Absolutely. Yep. All our lives, <laughs> aren't we all? <laughs> yeah, really. Right. I mean, we go to the beach and it's just normal to us. We leave, yep. we leave from the coast and they're like, yep. we need the beach. <laughs> that's funny that, that's funny that you say the coast. I lived in Seguin for about 10 years and everyone out there calls it the coast, which I really hadn't heard it called that very much, but every you know they're they we call that like the river we're going to the river well they call corpus the coast so wow, <laughs> i thought that yeah. was really me <laughs> that's awesome yeah i had been thinking about brand ideas too i'm like man maybe we should do like a coast a coastal kind of feel you know what i mean that would be a uh-huh. cool brand to do yeah for sure okay so you're into uh you're a cosmetic consultant for south yep. texas dermatology Yes, sir. Cosmetic consultant, South Texas Dermatology. Um, we are the largest dermatology practice in Corpus, actually, and uh, probably the this area, this region. Yeah. So dermatology, that's that's something that's not on a lot of people's mind. Uh, well, in my circles, I guess, you know, what sure. I mean? when, when we brought this up, I was just like, what is that? You know, so. It's yeah. Kind of this, yeah. So what what's your if somebody comes to you? Hey, what is what is what do you do? Like, you know, what I mean, well, what do you tell them? Yeah. And I think that's the thing that you, you really don't think about it unless you're having an issue or a concern. And then, you know, you go see your, spe- your uh, family doctor and they're like, we're going to refer you to a specialist, to a dermatologist. And so the dermatologists, you know, specialize in skin, everything, skin, you know, skin care, skin conditions. Um, so at dermatology, you know, we can see, you know, everything from acne to rashes, skin tags, moles, um, skin cancers, uh, cosmetic purposes, you know, fine lines and wrinkles, um, pretty much mm-hmm. anything to do with the skin, big or small, you know, uh, something that might not really bother one person, maybe really, really affecting um, the other person's, you know, self-esteem even. So it's good to kind of, uh, you know, get them to come in, just kind of have a doctor look at it and, you know, help them find a solution to their concern. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. Yeah, I have a I have a brother. He he has like skin problem. I don't know what it is, but I don't have it. But he has it, and uh-huh. it seems like he's more uh, he's more like susceptible to to just because his skin's so sensitive. You know what sure. I mean? Yep. 
Uh, mm-hmm. So, uh, so you and you guys have man two hundred plus patients a day in your 200 main two hundred plus patients a day. So we have several locations in the area. Um, our main office is at Staples and Everhart. It's the old Waterburger headquarters. Um, okay. So it's that big white building where um, in the back of the building we're on the third floor, and um, so there we have our general dermatology side, but we also have a skin cancer surgery side, and so. Be between the two divisions of the office, we see about 200 patients today just at that location. Um, we also have satellite offices. We see patients in Kingsville, um, Rockport, Ranzis Pass, Cal Allen. Um, and then we have another uh, south side location at Spawn South. So between all of them, it, it's a lot of people, a lot, we're helping a lot of people address their concerns. Um, and, you know, the, the big thing I think that we're doing is really trying to help with skin cancer prevention and just kind of, you know, helping people um, that have maybe d- something that developed or turned into skin cancer. So we're able to do their whole treatment at our office at Staples and Everhart. Amazing. Amazing. So how long, mm-hmm. how long does the treatment take? Um, the, it depends. The treatment can be pretty quick. It's called Mohs um, surgery, which is a micrographic um, removal of the skin cancer. Um, so it could take just a little while. And I've, I've seen it take sometimes up to eight hours. Um, mm-hmm. It really just depends. What they do is, you know, let's say you have a mole or a freckle and it starts to look kind of funny, maybe starts to be bothersome. You go get it checked out. They do a little biopsy and kind of test it out. And they say, you know what, it did come back as a skin cancer we'll go ahead and, you know, schedule this procedure to have it removed. Um, So they'll go in and right there in our office, um, the doctor will take a sample of that tissue and in our very own laboratory, they will sit there and analyze it um, and they'll keep kind of removing layers of skin until the entire cancer is removed. Mm -hmm. Um, And so, you know, they uh, are able to kind of clear you even before you walk out the door. So for something pretty simple, it could be just, you know, uh, an hour or two for something, you know, more uh, in depth, it could take a couple of hours. But that's the really cool thing about it. it's got a 99% success rate of removing the skin cancer. Now, there are going to be cases, obviously, where it could be more serious and further treatment is, you know, needed or, or uh, required. But for the most part, you know, we're able to get everything taken care of right then and there while you're in the office right wow that's mm-hmm. awesome yeah, yeah so how, how how prevalent is uh skin cancer or or how? um so really uh, you know skin cancer is a pretty serious thing that we really should kind of stop and think about even though i know that it's not on the top of our minds um mm-hmm. it probably should so one in five americans will develop skin cancer by the age of 70 and mm-hmm. you know in this area, especially South Texas, you know, we've got tons of fishermen, refinery workers, golfers, <laughs> surfers, yeah. um, you know, the people that work out in the fields and, you know, crop workers. Um, I mean, how many of our jobs are based outdoors? Any mm-hmm. Anybody that's worked outdoors or spent an extended amount, amount of time outdoors, you know, kind of should start to think about this. Um, and so, you know, you think, well, it's probably the older generation that really didn't know much about prevention and, and sunscreen and taking care of their skin. But really, we are starting to see younger and younger people come in because they did spend a lot of time as children out, you know, in the sun. Mm-hmm. So it doesn't discriminate. You know, it's definitely um, a really kind of serious thing. Um, more than two people die of skin cancer in the U.S. every hour. So that's mm-hmm. another little fact that we kind of try to think about. And if you've had more than five sunburns in your lifetime, um, it doubles your risk of melanoma. So I sit and think back of all the times that I've been sunburned out at the mm-hmm. beach and, <laughs> yeah. you know, spending time outdoors and it, it is a little scary. So I make sure to schedule my skin checks and, you know, have my spots and things looked at just, you know, to be on the safe side. So is melanoma like a type of, ca- what is it? Is that like melanoma a ca- is a type of skin cancer. Yes. Mm, okay. Mm-hmm. Wow, yeah, for real, man. I, I've been like a, had sunburned yeah. a, a bunch of times. Right. Man, yeah, when you that's think so crazy. It. Yeah. yeah. Think about it. And with, when it's detected early, there's like a five year survival rate, um, you know, for melanoma is 99%. So 
de early detection is really, really the key. And so that's why, you know, we really suggest that you get in there into your dermatologist. All you got to do is just call them, say, I want to schedule an annual skin check. Um, and I always suggest kind of doing this around the same time that you do your annual, uh, you know, uh, physical with your doctor or your dental checkup. Just some, mm -hmm. find a way to kind of remind yourself to kind of get in there and just get those moles, spots, you know, just kind of have them give a full scan over your body and just mm -hmm. make sure that there's nothing thing there because you know it can be in little hiding areas too like the very top of the ear or you know for guys who don't have hair like on the top of their scalp oh there's a a mole there or a freckle when in reality it could be something more serious wow that's crazy yeah so, so can like the skin cancer like be detected like without going in like if you know what i mean can it be yes. detected yes it yeah can. So something that's easy to remember, and this is kind of what they, you know, what dermatologists will kind of remind you of, it's ABC, right? Everyone can remember ABC. So mm -hmm. the one things you want to remember about the skin cancer ABCs is A is for asymmetry. So if your freckle or your mole or your spot can literally be folded in half and it's a perfect border, like it matches up perfectly, mm -hmm. then that is probably a safe a safe mole or safe freckle or safe spot. Um, if mm. it's jagged and, you know, kind of weird looking, that's probably a good idea to keep it, to get it checked out. Mm. The, the B is for border. So again, if those uh, edges of that spot are jagged or crooked, you might want to go ahead and get that looked at. And then the C stands for color. So color, if it changed colors on you, if it's turning purple or black or super dark brown and it used to be really light, then that could be another indication that that spot might need to be looked at. Now, that's if we're just dealing with a spot that you can see that you can kind of assess yourself. But again, mm -hmm. that's why the kind of skin check is important to, um, you know, to get scheduled because they'll be able to look in places that you can't, you know? Yeah, yeah, for sure. That's cool. awesome. Yeah. So so how do we so so if, now that we have this information, how do we prevent it? Like, so, so, so yeah. So prevention, I mean, I think that's the key as far as what we've done in the past and what, you know, we did when we were little kids, when we were teenagers. Um, mm -hmm. I think, you know, a lot of us went through that um, Jersey Shore phase, like GTM. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you know, I mean, tanning, yeah. I, I mean, I'm guilty. We, I spent a lot of time <laughs> in tanning booths at one time. Um, yeah. And so, you know, I think everybody, because tan skin really looks healthy and it looks beautiful mm -hmm. and, you know, everybody kind of wants wants to achieve that kind of sun-kissed look. Um, yeah. But, you know, in reality, the, you know, tanning beds and things like that can be very harmful and dangerous to your skin. So, you know, protecting yourself, I've noticed an increase in such a, a good... Um, people now are interested in kind of really taking interest in, in skincare and sunscreen, um, and protect, you know, protecting their skin. So protective clothing, you know, when you are going to be out in the sun for more than just a couple of minutes, you know, hats, long sleeves, you know, a bandana around your neck. Um, and of course, sunscreen, that's like the simplest answer. And so there's lots of options for sunscreen. As far as that goes, literally they make any and every kind you could think of. And the best, kind is the one that you won't mind putting on. So mm -hmm. I, you know, I help my customers daily or my patients daily to find the perfect sunscreen for them, because it's just like anything else. If something's annoying or a pain, you know, we're not going to want to use it. We're not going to want to do it. Um, so we try to find, you know, something that's going to fit you, your lifestyle, and just, you know, that's going to work in, in your life. Um, so, you know, they've got sunscreen in a stick, in a powder, in a cream, um, in a spray, mm -hmm. like you name it, you can find it. And that's literally what I'm there for is just to kind of help you you find what works for you so you can come by and see me and i'll help you and i'll even you know recommend over the counter um or store brand you know products that i've found that work really well so it doesn't have to be necessarily anything that you purchase from your dermatologist just so long as you're wearing it that's the best sunscreen is the one that you're going to wear so it definitely is helpful
So if we, so if I go to the store, like w- what do mm-hmm. I look for in a sun? Because I so, know they have like like PF. Oh, yeah, yep, SPF. They've got yeah. There's it can be overwhelming, and so that's you know it's good to have a little bit of knowledge of that. Um, so you know SPF, you want to make sure. Um, usually anything above thirty is you know pretty good. Um, if you're going to be in you know heavy outdoor activity, sweating, swimming, the higher the SPF, the better. Um, you have the option of mineral blend or chemical blend. And people are like, what's the difference between those two? Mm -hmm. Um, Mineral blend is going to be all natural, like your zinc oxide, titanium dioxide. Mm -hmm. Those are Mm -hmm. the main ingredients. Those just mean they have less chemicals in them to absorb into the skin. And what Mm -hmm. they do is they actually kind of um, act as a barrier. So the sun rays reflect off of that and then it Mm -hmm. bounces away from you. But mineral sunscreen can give off that white cast, you know, and a lot of people don't like that. So in that Mm -hmm. sense, a chemical blend may be better. And so the chemical blend will absorb a little bit better, but it does also you know, protect your, your, the the sun rays and kind of bounces them off of the skin. And so you're able to get that protection. So, um, you know, we suggest reapplying every two hours. Um, and it's, it's actually about uh, an ounce that you want to use for your full body. Um, Mm -hmm. if you are going out to the beach or, you know, out on the boat or something like that, you want to make sure and really, really get it on your skin and uh, get enough of it on your skin is the other thing and reapplying is important yeah so so does it have are there side effects to, to putting it on your skin or I mean, um, probably a stupid so, question. no 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 it's a good question actually so mineral um you don't necessarily have to worry about mineral is from the earth it's all natural um you know titanium dioxide zinc oxide that's all you know literally what it is it's minerals um mm-hmm. with the chemicals and you know they're always those words that nobody can say or spell that's <laughs> yeah. kind of your indication that it's a, a, a chemical blend um mm-hmm. and you know there's lots of research out there um, but and there was some uh, concern, I guess, with chemical blends. But I know I can only speak for the brands that we carry at our office. The mm-hmm. research behind it is definitely very, very well developed. Um, and these, you know, huge companies spend thousands and thousands of dollars to, you know, make sure it's safe for the public. Now, if they've come across anything that's not safe, um, you know, there are sunscreen police, I guess that, yeah. you know, are like, no, we've got to pull that back. So you can rest assured that, you know, the, the ones that are out on the market are going to be, you know, fairly safe. Um, but mm-hmm. just like anything, you know, just do a little bit of research and, you know, whatever you feel comfortable with, and you're probably pretty good, you know, going with that decision. All right, y'all, this is the portion of the podcast where we insert a sponsor or somebody that pays to sponsor this podcast by placing their ad in this portion of the episode. You can shout out your business. You can shout out a uh, an event that's coming up. You can shout out a birthday or any, any type of public announcement that you want to put on this podcast. Since we do have a lot of local listeners it's basically a local podcast dedicated to the city we love su- supporting local businesses and this is a great way to get your name out there if you're a local business or if you're a local uh, event or you know anything for for the our listeners to listen to you have this attention on you from the listeners that listen to us there's certain portions of the episode like the beginning the end and the middle you get to choose that of course the the rate uh, dictates that so right now the sponsor is corpus christi originals.com excellent excellent gear that you can represent the city with we got shirts hats stickers bandanas and things to represent the city with so if, if you want this portion of the episode to sponsor your event your business or anything of that nature uh hit us up let us know and we'd love to have you as a sponsor on the show appreciate y'all bye yeah that's awesome so mm-hmm. so does the, the sun have to directly hit the skin for it to be burned Nope, nope, not necessarily. So there's, you know, UVA, UVB rays. Um, You can even get a sunburn if it's an overcast day. It's, you know, just it doesn't have to be direct sunlight. Um, Mm -hmm. And, you know, pretty much I just recommend if you're going to spend any time outdoors, I mean, unless it's pouring rain, obviously, but any time outdoors, you just always want to make sure you're protected. I mean, it it's it's crazy because it seems like it's one of the easiest cancers you know, cancers to prevent because it just takes Mm -hmm. a couple of steps to, to just, you know, to, to do that a little bit of time, a couple of steps, you know, and you can really cut your, your wrists down by a lot, just doing a few things to protect yourself. 
Yeah. Wow. That's that's good. That's good. <laughs> that's a um, lot of knowledge right there for sure. <laughs> we don't think about man for sure, man. That's yeah, awesome. No, it's true. Yeah. And I do. I think about when I was a kid and I, you know, I haven't asked my mom. I think I need to, but <laughs> you know, I don't ever remember them putting sunscreen on us. Maybe it's because I'm like half Hispanic, half white. My mom said she's got enough melanin. She doesn't need any sunscreen, <laughs> but you know, and the more I think about it, I'm like, wow. So now I feel like it's my responsibility. I really, really try to get my kids on board, you know, I'll yeah. send them with, you know, tubes and tubes of sunscreen wherever they go. Um, and I've got grandbaby. So, you know, I'll sit them down and lather them up before they head out to the water park or the splash pad. Yeah. You know, I just want to be cautious and careful. It's just something that I think about, um, you know, and I do see our office does see some, you know, kind of scary situations. And, um, mm -hmm. you know, I've seen people come in and not leave with the tip of their ear because it just couldn't be saved or, you know, wow. they had a skin cancer on the side of their nose that turned out to be, you know, they're almost like little icebergs. And so it looks like something really small on top, but it could be kind of growing underneath the surface. So mm -hmm. it ends up being a big chunk that needs to come out and uh yeah. you know and, the, and then you know then they're like oh wow well I'm glad I got that looked at when I did because it could have ended up you know being really serious yeah for sure yeah mm -hmm. makes me want to put some it's, it's almost, <laughs> it makes me want to put some sunscreen. yeah everybody right and even my daughter because I take her to the splash pad man yep. and it's like damn I yeah. gotta start doing it. It's almost like a form, like it's like a hygiene type of thing. It seems exactly. like exactly. Yeah. And yeah. I, you know, that's something that I recommend to my patients as well, just to kind of help themselves get in the habit. It's like, you know, if you have to, if it's, you know, your facial sunscreen, put it right by your toothbrush. That way it just, you mm. know, you're brushing your teeth in the morning, put on your, you know, wash your face, whatever your morning routine is, put on mm. your sunscreen, then, you know, head out and get dressed and, you know, do whatever you do to get ready for the day. Um, mm. They make it super convenient convenient now so you can keep one in your backpack you can keep one in your purse you know I wouldn't suggest necessarily in the car in this heat because this is crazy <laughs> um but you know you can keep it with you we've got pocket size like literally any kind you want <laughs> we've funny, got yeah. you <laughs> yeah. put on yeah have the keychain ones probably right we, yeah we can put it on the keychain <laughs> whatever you That's need funny, us yeah. to do we'll do it but no I mean it really is super convenient these days and you know just something to think about because you know it is you know, preventable. And so we just want to, you know, make sure that we are taking those steps to do it. So, so for you, for you guys, so for the ladies that put on makeup and stuff, uh -huh. does, does that, uh, is it, like troublesome to like put that on and then put your so makeup on? How there's, that, how that yeah, there's lots of options. Um, you know, the way that they formulated sunscreen, well, they've come a long way. I mean, I do remember, you know, back in the day when it was super thick, it smelled like coconut, like, you know, it was just <laughs> copper tone or, you know, banana boat, whatever the rage was yeah. then. Um, <laughs> and they, yeah, they really have come a long way. It's actually been really neat to see the transition um, mm -hmm. over time. So a lot of um, makeup products are formulated with SPF in it. And that's great. That's awesome. Um, I oh, always, cool. what I personally like to do is just kind of layer it. So, you know, my uh, moisturizer has an SPF. That's, you know, probably my first step. If I use a makeup primer, it's got an SPF in it. So I've got another layer and then, you know, Crazy. foundation powder, all of that, you can kind of layer on top. And then um, throughout the day, like if I'm running around in and out of the car, kind of out in the sun, I'll grab my little powder that I keep in my purse it's in like a stick and just kind of brush it on just to give me that extra wow, protection crazy. so yeah i'm a little bit obsessed i think you could say <laughs> nah but I, I didn't even know that existed i don't yeah. even know if, if a lot of women know that existed. no yeah you know what they, I mean? yeah they absolutely do and and you know ulta sephora they've got a whole array of items that you could choose from and you know online amazing. there's lots of options as well and at our office we've got tons yeah, man, that's amazing. Yeah, mm -hmm. ladies, look it up. Look it up. Yes. Cool. For so, sure. so, so, you guys also provide uh, aesthetic, aesthetic, how do you aesthetic, say? Aesthetic. Yeah. Aesthetic, aesthetic services. services. Yeah. So, I mean, that's the thing, too. I think, um, you know, when we are young in our younger days, you know, we want to get out there, get in the sun, get that nice glow. The thing that I think most people don't think about is the sun is the hugest factor for premature aging and so it will age your skin faster wow. than you know almost as fast as like probably smoking cigarettes yeah. you know what i mean Thinking like about it, that, yeah 
yeah, it really, really can age your skin. And so the sun protection obviously is going to be a big help in keeping you, you know, looking young and things like that. And then at some point, you know, life happens and age sneaks up on us and there, there really isn't anything that we can mm. do now to, to prevent it. I think at yeah. that point we just work on correcting it, but yeah, we do. <laughs> we offer a whole array of cosmetic services, aesthetic services, um, you know, cosmetic treatments, chemical peels, facials, laser, um, Botox, fillers, you know, we do all of the, you know, aesthetic things in the office as well. It's really nice because the doctor is literally down the hall. So, you know, Mm -hmm. he can pop in and kind of come and see how things are going for you. We've got an amazing esthetician. Her name is April Hinojosa. um, Mm -hmm. And she is so full of knowledge and she can look at your skin and just come up with like the perfect Mm -hmm. regimen for you, like the perfect treatment plan. Um, Our nurse injector, her name is Monica. McComb and she is really really good as well as if you know and you're interested in Botox or fillers or anything of that sort so you know we've got tons of stuff in that you know in that room that we can um, hook you up and you'll walk out a brand new man or woman <laughs> <laughs> so that's cool yeah man that's awesome so I, I hear laser I'm like laser what the yeah, heck is that <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, so we've got a really awesome um, laser setup. So we use um, a Cyton BBL laser. Everybody hears BBL and gets they get really excited. <laughs> okay. <laughs> not that kind of BBL. Not that kind of BBL. <laughs> um, but it's called broad broadband light. And so this laser, um, you know, it, it uses um, wavelengths and crystals and really mm. scientific. I'm probably doing a horrible wow, job of crazy. explaining it. But essentially, yeah. um, you know, this laser can you. take care of um, resurfacing the skin, it can take care of browns, you know, a lot of women, especially in South Texas, and especially Hispanic women, we kind of deal with, they call it baño, but the, the medical term is melasma. Um, mm-hmm. And it's something that just kind of happens to women, hormones can play a part, the sun definitely can play a part. Um, and so this laser, um, and an extension of it, which is called halo, can mm. really, really help to transform the skin. It can kind of break Crazy. up that pigment. Um, you know, it, the same machine also does laser hair removal. So it can, or reduction, I should say. Um, so we could, you know, do, you know, legs, underarms, bikini area, kind of keep you from having to shave or wax, um, you know, just, Crazy. and we do, we do it for men also. So it's not just, you know, limited to women. Um, so if you got a hairy back. <laughs> Yeah, I'm pretty happy. I don't like to wear muscle shirts because, <laughs> you know. We can help you out. Um, wow. But no, so, yeah, so, it's a really do, cool so, thing. Yeah, so when y'all do that, like, so does the hair grow back or, I mean. So, yeah, I mean, it does. Um, We definitely, you know, it's a little, depending on the person, there'll be a kind of an, an assessment done and then we'll kind of see what we're working with. But essentially, I, you know, and spe- this is like from experience, I've noticed a change in the way the hair grows, how fast it grows back, the texture mm-hmm. and the color and just the overall appearance of the hair when it does grow back. But it really does eliminate the need to like shave or wax for sometimes a couple of weeks at a time, which, which is helpful. And so for people who have, you know, some conditions that can cause um, issues with hair growth or, um, Mm -hmm. you know, something like that, this can be like super, super awesome for them because it it can, you know, really help them out by not having Mm -hmm. to shave as often. But um, like I said, it's probably a lot more scientific than I just described it, but no, man, it's no, it's really knowledge. This is a lot of good knowledge that a lot of us don't know. Oh, so yep. I appreciate you sharing it, man. Sure, for sure. yeah. And it also and, does like the little broken capillary. So a lot of times um, we've seen people come in with the, they look like little tiny spider veins kind of along the, sometimes the nose area is pretty, um, mm-hmm. you know, people can get them there often or in the cheek area. And that mm-hmm. can kind of help to kind of calm those little nerves or those little veins down and make wow, them not crazy. as noticeable, not as red and noticeable. But yeah, it's yeah. really cool. Yeah, it's almost like you're changing the skin. It's very yes, interesting. Yes, and that's that's essentially what you know we're trying to do is just really help to get your skin in the most healthy state, and then you know correct any concerns or or issues you're having, and and that goes for you know any of our treatments. If you know we're dealing with active acne or acne scarring, a lot of times you know people have scarring left over from acne as a teenager. You know we've got mm-hmm. treatments that can kind of help with that as well. 
Wow, that's pretty cool, man. You yeah. guys are the big you guys are the biggest or the only yeah. one south south of San Antonio. Yeah, well, we're the largest practice um in Corpus Christi uh for sure and uh, we are actually the only office that does the most um skin cancer surgery south of San Antonio. So uh, we get patients up from the valley from all over, all the rural areas and you know yeah. all over and and uh, south of San Antonio. Yeah, so it's pretty awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, yes, yeah, that's, that's man. This is awesome. Thank you for coming on, Leanne, and sharing yeah, this stuff. I hope absolutely. this helps. I hope this helps somebody, anybody that's listening or whatever, you know. But, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Sure. Yeah, I mean, that's that was my hope too, is just to kind of get that, you know, people thinking about just kind of protecting yourself when you're out there, having a good time, enjoying our life, you know, by the bay. It's awesome to yeah. live so close to the beach and have these experiences. But you know, we just want to be super careful and you know, just protect yourself, protect your family, and mm -hmm. and stay safe. That's the main thing. Yeah, for sure, man. Definitely. Yeah. Very prevalent for us here in, in the coast in South Texas, for sure. Yeah. One fun, so the fun fact about the body, the skin is what? The largest organ in our on our body. So mm -hmm. it, sometimes it can weigh up to eight pounds of skin. So I think that's probably going to be my uh, excuse for my weight. <laughs> <laughs> <That's funny. laughs> no, but it, it really is. And if you didn't, if you don't, if you think about it without skin, like we, our body is made of That's... so much water, we would like evaporate without it. So wow, it crazy. is real. And we really should give it all of the care. We only have one, you know, set of skin. Yeah. Um, you know, we have what, two kidneys, I think. <laughs> <laughs> but really though it's our only skin we've had it since we were born like it yeah. doesn't go away um and so we really should try to take good care of it um you know and and protect it as much as possible but it does a lot for us it's our shield it's our barrier and so it protects us protects our organs our our bones our tissues our our flesh so we really yeah. should give it some care so yeah take your time you know get <laughs> yourself familiarized with some you know good skin care good sunscreen uh pamper yourself and you know take care of your skin because it does a lot for you <laughs> yeah for sure man that's awesome that's awesome so i got your link down here this is is this yeah. where we find you on yeah Instagram? you can yeah you can find me there on instagram and uh or you can call south texas dermatology ask for leanne um and just i'll help you out with whatever you need any uh questions about the services or treatments or you know you want some suggestions on skincare or sunscreen i'm your girl yeah man you selling that you selling that thing for real <laughs> is this a commercial <laughs> <laughs> i'm happy cool. to do it that's super, yeah. this is super cool it's probably the coolest thing i've ever done yeah, no. So you were uh, you were telling me that you had you had been like telling people about it, and then uh -huh. your your boss was like, "Hey, you should you should really stick to doing this." Yeah. <laughs> so that's cool. That's yeah, awesome. no, you're right. Yeah, and we're happy too. I mean, everybody at the office is super laid back, and you know, we're just really want to help the community and uh, you know get everybody in. And and it doesn't have to be us. There's other dermatologists here in town. Just schedule mm -hmm. your appointment, get in there. And if you can't get into the dermatologist, and and you just think about it the next time at your you're at your checkup with your family doctor just say hey can you go ahead and just take a look do you see anything that looks weird um you know and then if they do find something they'll refer you out so you don't have to they you know you just just at some point it's probably a good idea for everyone and we see yeah. kids all the way to adults so nice yeah Heck yeah that's awesome so uh anything else you want to you'd like to share leanne um no i can't think of anything now i just want to go to the beach <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. Let's go to the beach, y'all. Yeah. Make sure to get yeah. some sunscreen. Ooh. That's right. Come and see me get some sunscreen. <laughs> yeah. All right, Leanne. Thanks for coming on. And, yeah, uh, no yeah, problem. I appreciate you. Yeah, okay. No we'll problem. talk to you soon. All right. Take care. Okay. okay <laughs> bye. bye. All right, y'all. That was Leanne Salinas, cosmetic consultant for South Texas Dermatology. I'll leave links in the description where you can find her or reach out to her about some more of this information that you heard on this podcast. If you want to support this podcast or if you just want to represent the city, we have some dope merch at CorpusChristiOriginals.com where you can rep the city with. You can get a hat like this or even a, a t-shirt to represent the city with. So thanks a lot, you guys, for listening. Have a good one. Bye. 
right, y'all. This is the portion of the podcast where we insert a sponsor or somebody pays to sponsor this podcast by placing their ad in this portion of the episode. You can shout out your business. You can shout out a uh, an event that's coming up. You can shout out a birthday or any any type of public announcement that you want to put on this podcast. Since we do have a lot of local listeners, it's basically a local podcast dedicated to the city. We love su- supporting local businesses. And this is a great way to get your name out there if you're a local business or if you're a local uh, event or, you know, anything for, for the our listeners to listen to. You have this attention on you from the listeners that listen to us. There's certain portions of the episode, like the beginning, the end, and the middle. You get to choose that. Of course, the, the rate uh, dictates that. So right now, the sponsor is CorpusChristiOriginals.com. Excellent, excellent gear that you can represent the city with. We got shirts, hats, stickers, bandanas, and things to represent the city with. So if you want this portion of the episode to sponsor your event your business or anything of that nature uh hit us up let us know and we'd love to have you as a sponsor on the show appreciate y'all bye